friends, this is the Mr. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. The tea break. Um, there's so much to say and so little time to say it in. When I say little time, it's because I can only sit here for so long, folks. I still have the flu, but I'm on my way out. Um, the other side of it, which is good. However, um... My lower back has just completely buggered up, and I have been crippled since Friday. To the point where this is the first I've been able to sit at my desk and and do anything. And I won't be able to sit here much longer. It's my lower back and in, in my left hip. And uh, there's just... When you live with chronic pain, and, you, and you're with pain every day, it wears on you. Just like water on a rock, it wears you down eventually. And that's okay. I mean, you know, we get used to that. But when you have an added something forklift on top, like a back injury, you're just crushed. Because you use all your reserves every day dealing with daily chronic pain. And you got nothing left when something like this happens. So, excuse me. So I was supposed to go to go shopping. I haven't been shopping, grocery shopping in over a month. I've just been getting Howie to stop at the store, which can get expensive. But I was supposed to go shopping today with Howie and Briar, and I'll tell you something. I cannot get in and out of that truck. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to ask Daddy and Briar, and I'm going to give them a list. I'm looking for my pad. I'm going to give them a list. And hopefully Daddy will understand when I say, look, I can stay home and look after the dogs and try and get the dishwasher unloaded and loaded while you go shopping. Or you can take me shopping with you. We get all the same stuff done, but then no dishes or floors or anything gets done for the next three days because I'm right back to where I was Friday night screaming in pain. So that's pretty much the basis of it. I hate it though because I mean when I go shopping especially when it's with Howard and Briar it's like a family affair you know we go out and it's our guilty pleasure to once a month actually go to a and and get a burger and and all these things. Yes we're not we're not saints people you know, every once in a while, you, you, you got to have a life, right? So anyway, it is 7 a.m. Sunday, the 29th of April. And I'm going to go and let my dogs back in. I've put them out and fed them, and I'm going to let them back in, and we're going to go back to bed after I make my grocery list. Listen, guys. Yeah, don't look at my hair. And thank you so much for um, the t-shirts oh my gosh I honestly I, I didn't want to do it but you guys kept asking and I thought oh, okay we'll see how it goes and you guys you you were true to your word you wanted that t-shirt um, because it's not a store it's a campaign it still runs for another couple of weeks but thank you so much you know it's um, it's allowing me to not have to work right now. Right? So, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, I'm sorry it's just another tea break and I'm sorry that I'm whining about pain, but this is where I am today. Okay? And now I have to go and medicate and go back to bed. All right? Take care. God bless. I hope everybody has an awesome weekend and prayers are always welcome. Thanks again, folks, for being so loving and supportive. Take care. God bless. Oh.